Now what I did is I got I got them sides over there tied up just to you know nobody likes a guy tying up a tarp on with paracord. I mean how exciting is that? I got a little bit of droop to it right here, but that ain't gonna hurt anything because the way I've got this thing set up is I've, I've set it I've set it up and it's it's gonna be for where like if you just get a torrential downpour you'll still be able to get your gear you'll have a place to stay you'll have a place to cook you know uh, you'll be able to you keep your stuff out of the dry and you'll be able to get to your stuff so, all right now what I'm gonna do here now remember I said I just I'm not using all of the I'm not using all of the loops right here so Alright, tie this off with a paracord here, tighten it up a little bit, and there's another little trick that I just remembered that's very extremely important that I'm fixing to show you, and uh, one of those tricks is this right here. Okay, now I've learned, this is one of them doozies that I have learned from experience. Ooh, Grab you an extra rope, and if the tree is on an uphill slant, what you want to do is, in case it does rain, you want to tie one. I don't think that's good of an example, but what you want to do is you want to tie the rope off up here, and you want to put the knot on the bottom, okay? And then you leave the ends dangling and touching the ground. And what that does, I don't think I'm going to need it on this one. I don't think I'm going to need it on this one, but what it is is when you got that rope tied up up there, if rain hits it, it's going to hit that rope and it's going to come around the tree and it's going to drip down and it's not going to get on you. All right, now, as I explained earlier, in my old age, <laughs> I, have, I, I, I thought I should bring a few, a few little novelties with me. Little things make life easier. So what I got, got on the internet and I ordered me one of them fancy little coffee pots. It's one of them uh, hanging coffee pots. So, now I'm going to show you how I rig this thing up with this type of shelter too. You can either make coffee or you can boil water. Doesn't matter, either one. But I'm going to rig that thing up so that it's going to be out of the weather too. And before I do that, let's see, I got paracord. Got my water, got that. Okay, what I'm going to do now, here's the other thing about this shelter right here. Here, lower this down just a second right here. All right, now come down here. Another thing you can do is you can store, stow your gear up under here. Right in the middle. Okay? And I'll even fasten my buckles. And uh, you know what that way is, is, you know, I got my gear up under the tarp to where I can get at it. And not only can I get at it, but it's also given a dome shape. You know, it's not touching the ground, it ain't gonna get wet, it ain't gonna get muddy. It's giving a dome shape. You know, whenever whenever I need something, I just reach up in the pack and there it is. Okay? So, alright. Now let's get to let's get to rigging up that coffee pot. Alright guys, now I'm gonna show you something right here. And this will apply to any kind of uh, hanging cooking type device. But it's, it's kind of a neat addition to this. And I will say that whenever you're looking for a tree, you want to find you want to find the biggest tree that you can. Because the bigger it is, you know, the further apart the ropes are going to be, and it's not going to be pinching up on you. Okay? So, all right, well, what I want to do first is uh, I'm going to take my coffee pot here. I'm going to tie this rope off. Okay? I ordered this from one of those uh, fancy internet suppliers. <laughs> I felt like I could spoil myself for once. What the heck? Another good thing too is if you are in a survival situation and you got one of these little lightweight pots right here, you know, you could just, I'm right here by a creek and it is really a clean creek. And uh, you could, uh, you know, you could have a ball with, uh, I mean, you could have a plenty of a supply of clean water by boiling it right here. Okay, what you want to do is throw it over. Okay. Let me get the other end. Oh man! All right, let's see now. Right here. I just, for the sake of argument, I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it somewhere right in here. Okay. Now, what I'm gonna do now 
This is going to tie the other end of this thing off. Now you see this cord right here, this rope right here, it's where I was going to use for my, um, uh, for in case it rains and it runs off. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I got that tied off on a rock. And the idea behind tying it behind a rock, okay, is going to be that you can make that thing you can make it adjustable. You can slide it up and down to where the flames are. Okay, now another cool thing about this is once I have hung my pot, then I can figure out where I put my fire. That way I can make maximum use of wood. So, see so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put a little bit of wood right in here. And that way I'll know right there is going to be a nice place. So I'm going to have a small fire right here. Okay. I'll deal more with that later. And say so I can just, I can gather up a bunch of wood tonight and I can have all that wood right up there by my head. So I can have a bunch of wood right up here by my head. Okay. So now i got a place to sleep. Got a roof over my head. I got a place where I can get to my gear. I got a place where I can boil water that's out of the out of the weather. I have me a fire. All I got to do is move that rock around, and this thing right here will be adjustable to the flames. Because you know sometimes, like say, you know sometimes you want to roll and boil, and sometimes like if you just want to warm up some noodles. All right, now comes the fun part. You're gonna see me crawl into this thing. <laughs> All right, one more thing right here is uh, you want to tie all these loops together with a little piece of paracord. See, that was a little something that I forgot forgot to add in. And you know, you don't you don't absolutely have to have this done this way, but it, I tell you, it sure does help when you're getting in it because the loops you have to hold on to them real tight, and you dang near have to climb the tree to get into it. So. I'm putting a few of these little loops down here in the bottom just as an extra measure to keep them from slipping around everywhere. As soon as these are tied up, I'll, I'll give you a good laugh on how I climb in it. All right, now comes the fun part. Oh, uh, this is how the old man gets to climb in. All right, now, what you want to do with this thing is I'll get on the, uh, I get on the uphill side now. Before you ever put your feet in, you're gonna grab hold of a couple of ropes. All right, and rest your feet. Okay, get into position. Grab the tree. Pull yourself up, and walk into it. As far as I know, that's the easiest way of doing it. Walk yourself in. Oh. Now, the thing about the shelter is the simple fact that nothing's touching the ground. I have no lines on the tarp. I'm protected from the rain on the tarp. On the tarp, and I'm protected from the ground. As far as I'm concerned, there can be a foot of water, and I won't care. You just want to kind of work around this thing a little bit. Lay back. Make sure your rope stays under. Oh. Oh. This is so comfortable. <laughs>